Hi, Coach George from SoccerTutor.com here and welcome to another edition of this coaching tutorial. In today's discussion, we're going to be focusing on creating space. Okay, creating space as an individual, creating space as a team, creating space for your teammates. Okay, so let's get cracking with the first example. Player one plays it to three, three to one, one to three as a give and go. Simple sequence. Okay. And if you notice, as one plays it to three, three's movement is non existent. It's created no space whatsoever. And as you can see, it's sort of behind players three and it gets caught up in his feet and he has to adjust his position accordingly just to play it to player two. Just makes life more difficult for player three and for player one as well. Okay. So a way of creating space and making it easier for player three to play that ball to player two is to create space. So let's just show you an example here. So it's exactly the same sequence, player one to three, three to one. But if you notice as Three plays it to one. Three's movement is just going to step back a couple of paces to create space. Okay, it's there. One's got all that space to play it in. It's going to make it easier, a lot easier for player three to play that ball to two. Okay, all he's done, all player three's done is step back to create space. That is it. Simple. Show you another example. Uh, player three is going to play it to one. Now the important thing is, yeah, he's going to step back a couple of paces, just as I said before, but he's not going to step back straight. Okay. He's going to step back either to the right hand side or to his left hand side. Now the reason behind this is because. If he steps back at an angle, he can choose what foot he's going to play in. So if he, for example, if he steps back to his left hand side, the ball, okay, step back to the left hand side. Now the ball's naturally going to fall onto his right foot there. Okay, naturally. If he steps back straight, and then he comes onto the ball, it's going to be a bit too straight and it's, uh, it's more difficult to play the ball okay, if you're coming on straight to the ball. So he wants it on his right, hand, right foot, so he steps back to the left hand side. The ball naturally comes to the right foot. Okay? So in this example, player two is going to play it to three. Now he wants it on his right foot as well, so he's going to step back to his left hand side as three plays it naturally going to fall to player two's right foot Let's just watch here, there we go another example player one, if he wants it on his left foot he can. does he step back this way to the left or to his right Course. He steps back to his right because he wants it on his left foot. He wants the ball to fall on his left foot. Just a lot easier this way, uh, creating space to the left or to the right as an individual. And you want it either foot, you choose what foot you want it. Okay, so that's just an example of creating space as an individual and um, just choosing your favourite foot to play the ball with. Okay, another example here is uh, checking to create space. So we're focusing on player R1. He's going to be checking to the left, uh, to the cone, the yellow cone here, to create space. Okay, see that? Now he's, he's checking because if he's marked here, okay, he needs to lose that defender, get away from that defender. Okay, so he's just checking to the to the cone as a guide. The cone is just a guide. Checking to create space and he's going to receive it there. Okay. If he didn't, then the, he's easily marked by a defender. 
Okay, so that, that's another example. In this example, I'm going to show you now is R1 is going to create space for R2. So R2's information to R1 is to get inside, just to run with the ball inside. Now it's telling him this because he wants to get an overlapping run. So for him running inside, it's obviously created space here for R2. Yeah? If he didn't, if he wanted an overlapping run <coughs> and he his run was straight, then he's got no space to create for R2. Alright? So he's just creating that space there for R2. Let's just see what happens. Cross, finish, goal. In this example, create space in a small sided game. As the goalkeeper gets the ball, now the reds, we're focusing on the reds because we're shooting this way, we create space by going long and wide. Okay? You create space by going long and wide. Alright? So let's just see here. Now, as you can see, the goalkeeper's just played the ball out to A1. A1's movement is bend his run. Okay, he's curved his run. Just like in the last lesson, he's curved his run to create that space. Okay, if his run was straight, he's not creating much space. But all he's doing is just bending his run to create that space for himself here. Okay, so let's just see this here. Now, okay, show you another example is, right, here we go, look, A5's movement, he's going to run this way to create space for A6 to exploit the space, okay, let's just see this here, as A1 plays the ball, there. Got all that space there now. And that's because A5's created that space movement there and A6 has exploited that space. Okay? So that's just creating space for your teammates. Now as A6 plays the ball to A1, his movement is this way to create space. So A6's movement is running inside to create that space for A1. Okay. An example here. As A6 plays the ball to A4, his run's not going to be here or here. It's going to be where? Outside. Okay. To create that space for A6. Here we go. See that? His movement, just moving now, has created that space there. Okay, moving on, in this example, just like the last one we discussed, is an overlapping run. Just moving inside, creating that space there. Okay, let's just play that, let's end on a, a high note, go. Okay, actually, this might be good, is to discuss this, this couple of key factors here. Create space uh, and exploit space requires movement, angles, timing, and distance. Okay, so I showed you a few examples of creating space as an individual uh, and as a team. I hope you enjoyed that. And of course, as usual, what I advise you to do is log into your account, go to the drill skills techniques section, check coach, choose your levels, uh, attack in crossing, passing, shooting, and press the go button, and also look in the pro section as well. So as usual, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Until next time, I wish you all the best.